Hello and welcome to an exchange video. I'm Ed. This video, we're going to be looking at upgrading to CU15 for Exchange 2019. So a little bit of background. This server that I'm on is currently running CU14. Um, it's got all the security patches installed that were released after that. And latest Windows updates apply to obviously close the LDAP nightmare uh, in a previous video that I did. And We'll now take you through the process of upgrading to CU15. CU15 prepares you for Exchange SE that's coming out, and you'll technically be able to do an in-place upgrade if you are running this CU, which is the last CU for Exchange over 2019. And without further ado, let's get to it. So I've already downloaded the ISO files over six gigs, um, and I've started the the GUI upgrade uh, for those that work with us. Um, I normally do upgrades through the command line, but for demonstration purposes, we'll do it through the GUI. I'll click next. Uh, I generally leave this on. You can turn off diagnostics data, um, whatever works for you. And I did reboot before this, so hopefully it won't tell me I need to do a reboot. Let's see. So the upgrade is pretty much the same as any other CU. Um, there's open files here. Uh, okay, so let us go to Task Manager and find that process. Process ID. Two, three, eight, four. Okay, let's retry. Obviously, this is a lab, so the other warning is normal because I don't have a sync connector on here. So, pretty much the update is straightforward. It's going to obviously prepare the environment, nothing to it. Um, Going to stop the exchange services now while that is running in the background let's quickly go uh, here and you can see that there's a number of fixes in here um, cleans up old OO files which is fantastic because exchange logging also kills an exchange server um, it fixes the wrong information shown on pop and IMAP uh, settings and obviously a few more. Um, the printer error or issue is also fixed. And then <clears throat> known issues with this update. Well, I've seen this. Um, where the pop and IMAP services stopped and tried to start and obviously went into a loop. And that was on the November issue, which was then replaced with version two, and that corrected the issue. Um, what is nice is that you can obviously manage certificates now from the EAC again, uh, where previously it was taken away. Um, feature flight in Exchange Server, which is new. Um, there is support for TLS 1.3, and the biggest thing is support for Windows Server 2025. So if you are deciding to build new servers, you can spin up server, Windows Server 2025, and then you can install CU15. Um, as far as I know, you should be able to install CU14 as well on, on Windows Server 2025, but go for the latest. Um, version here and then you'll be ready for when SE comes out and be the first in-place upgrade of Exchange which is awesome. Okay so I'm not going to let the video run because this process takes quite a while especially where it has to copy Exchange files. Um, it will some I know on previous versions it will sit at 16% 
copying uh, and depending on how the environment is. I mean, I've had it on fast servers, slow servers, where it will just sit there copying and eventually it will then finish and go through all the uh, steps after that, you know, doing languages, restoring your services. Um, and obviously this is a step that I'm talking about is copying exchange files. So there you have it. The process is uh, straightforward, same as any other server. Uh, what's going to be interesting is I'm running um, server 20, Exchange Server 2019 RTM um, because I do a lot of testing. And it will be interesting to see if this actually is compatible. And if not, what kind of errors we're going to see, you know, is the DAG going to work? Is it not going to work? Uh, obviously in a DAG environment, you're going to want to have both servers, the same version on running, but in my lab, um, I have the DAG. I just don't have copies. Just trying to see, you know, what issues we're going to run into, etc. So there you have it. See you 15 upgrades and hopefully soon. Uh, when they do release SE, we can then perform an in-place upgrade and show you how that's done. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I thank you very much for watching.